and I feel like I might lose my mind. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to a favorites and fails video for April 2021. I'm gonna go over my very top best products that I've been trying recently and a good number of products that I really have not enjoyed. And I'll tell you why for each category. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and following over on Allura Beauty over on Instagram. All the products that I show you, if they are still available, I will link in the description box for you below, as well as if I have any coupon codes that you can utilize if you wanna purchase them yourself. This is going to be a skincare heavy video, although I do have some makeup items. So let's start with cleansing type products first for skincare. Paula's Choice has a new cleansing product. It is the Omega Plus Complex Cleansing Balm. This is a fantastic product. Of course, like with everything in Paula's Choice, it is fragrance-free, irritant-free, and it comes in a tube, which most cleansing bulbs come in a pot where you dig your finger in. So I do actually like that it comes in a tube. It's much more convenient. It's much more travel-friendly. And it has like a medium thickness to it, perhaps not as thick as something that you find in a pot, but it takes away makeup beautifully. It will break down your eye makeup and is a perfect first step for a double cleanse. You don't necessarily have to double cleanse if you don't want to. If you just utilize this, it will break down the makeup and the oils in it will leave more of a nourishing finish too. A product by Noonie, which I find very intriguing. It's from their Snowflake line. It is the Snowflake Cleansing Water. Sorry that the packaging is a little dirty. I spilled some coffee on it, but this is a gentle makeup remover infused with a Centella Asiatica, which is a fantastic ingredient for the skin. And the way you use cleansing waters, they're kind of like micellar waters, if you're familiar with that. You kind of saturate a cotton pad or a cotton round um, for the eye makeup. You kind of want to hold it there to really help it break down. Again, more of a first step cleansing uh, product or if you have very light powder makeup, you can utilize just this. I would still recommend that you at least rinse with water or a mild detergent to remove the ingredients or the product. But when it comes to the ingredients, I was really surprised that there seems to be no sort of fragrance added to this or any irritating ingredients. Usually with cleansers, especially even in Japanese or Korean skincare, they like to add fragrance, but I don't see that anywhere in here. It does have the glycerin, Centella Asiatica. It has a lot of other um, nice plant extracts and I, don't detect any fragrance um, off of it either. I've got a ton of moisturizers that I've absolutely been loving. I'll try to go quickly. Um, something I've already mentioned in a skinstore.com focused video was this one. It is by Intraceuticals, the hydration gel, just a fantastically packaged, fantastically formulated gel, formulated, super hydrating uh, burst of moisture, if that's what you're looking for, especially in the summer with a more lightweight texture. I'll link that video up in the upper right hand corner if you are interested in seeing the other products that I talked about that I think it was a vitamin C kind of like new products with vitamin C in them that I'd been trying recently. Oh, I almost forgot this was also mentioned in the skin store video. This is the Men's Science Androceuticals Advanced Face Lotion. What a fantastic skincare product in terms of the formulation. You not only get a nourishing but lightweight formulation, it is packed with AHA, BHA, hyaluronic acid, glycerin, uh, silicones in there to help smooth the skin uh, superficially, vitamins A, C, and E. A more expensive product, but man, you get a lot in just one tube with this. A couple of uh, honey-based products from Skin Food, which is another Korean beauty, Korean skincare brand. So I guess I'll start with this. This is the Enrich Essence Royal Honey Propolis Moisture and Nutrition. Comes in really fun packaging like this, although I usually keep it in the box to keep, because this is not an opaque bottle, but it does have a kind of dropper dispenser. It has more more of a gel kind of snail mucusy texture to it, but super hydrating. The very first ingredient is the propolis extract, then honey extract, royal jelly extract. So this is jam packed. I think there are, there's a really small subset of people that may be allergic to the honey ingredient, but otherwise it's not known to be an irritant or um, aggravating to the skin. And it is super nourishing and hydrating. And then the other one for more of a cream texture, but still very lightweight is the royal honey 100 hour moisture cream, water, glycerin, sunflower seed oil, olive um, fruit extract. Again, has that honey extract, royal jelly extract. So both of these I have been really liking lately. From Skin Fix, um, did I mention this before? I don't think I did. This is the Lipid Peptide Lotion the ba from the Barrier Plus line. It's a daily hydrator, more of a thin lotiony texture, opaque uh, vacuum sort of airtight pump dispenser. Has not only seaweed hyaluronate to, again, 
again, give you that bur burst of a moisture, but also the peptide complex. So fantastically formulated for the skin. All right, then I have a couple of uh, moisturizers and then an eye cream that I received from Yes Style. So that's where you can purchase these items. I'll start with this from Bar, B-A-R-R. -R. This is the Super Balance Brightening Ampule. Again, with some Korean, a lot of Korean skincare, you know, they add fragrance. They like to add uh, volatile, irritating um, essential oils, but none of these products I'm gonna show you have those things. So they're fragrance-free, irritant-free. This is 81% green tea leaf water, 2% niacinamide or vitamin B3, which is fantastic, and then 1% moist seven complex. Again, not an opaque tube, so I do keep it in the box, drop dispenser, but this has a very uh, lightweight fluid texture that sinks in the skin, and it has this very subtle, you probably can't tell on the screen, but it has this very subtle opalescence. So if you're looking for more of that, if you want just like this slight glow to the skin, this is a really cool product. Rovectin, the Clean Lotus Water Cream. Again, fantastic for summer months because this has a very nourishing formulation, but it in it has a lightweight formulation. So it's not gonna feel thick or heavy or greasy. Pretty much like a gel texture to this. Has a ton of glycerin in here. It has niacinamide in here, sweet almond oil. Um, just a really nice all around lightweight summertime facial moisturizer. And then from Claire's, which has some other great products, but this is the Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. Now, even though it says eye butter, this is a much lighter weight formulation eye cream, which again, you may like um, you may like that in general, but especially during the summer months, you may not want something that is as uh, thick or heavy of a cream around the eyes. So it comes in a tube like that, and this does have caffeine in it, as well as other things like sunflower seed oil, camellia sinensis leaf extract is also in here, a bunch of other great ingredients for the skin. All right, let's move on to sunscreen, and I've tried um, a couple that I really, really have been loving. The first one is by Biosance. This is their Squalene and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen. This has an SPF of 30 and it is PA++++. Moisturizing without feeling greasy or heavy at all. It does not leave a white cast, at least on my skin. I'm about an NC20 in MAC. It is zinc oxide base, so zinc oxide 14%. That's what it looks like. Again, just a beautifully um, elegant texture, not shiny, not greasy, not thick. And the inclusion of uh, squalene and zinc, of course, is a bonus in the formulation. It is only SPF 30, so I caution you to not rely on this if you're actually going to be in sunlight for several hours or make sure you reapply every couple hours if that's gonna be the case, but just an everyday kind of commuting back and forth to work or being at home kind of sunscreen. And then probably the only product I will ever purchase from the Kylie cosmetic line or anything from the Kardashians. I am totally not interested in their brand or products, but I, this was on sale, the Kylie Skin Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Face Sunscreen. Now this is an avobenzone, um, octosalate, octocrylene, homosalate um, based uh, sun protecting product. But the interesting thing about this is it's completely clear. It comes out as a clear gel. So no matter what skin depth, um, you know, skin color you have, and it has a more silicone -y feel, but it will absolutely not create any sort of white cast. That silicone -y feel gives nice smoothness to the skin. So I've been loving this product. Okay, hair care and body care. I cannot explain to you how blown away and impressed I am with everything that I've tried in this brand, and that is Better Not Younger. They are a hair care brand, and usually I, I can really like hair care, but usually there's nothing about it that can really blow my mind or blow me away. I mean, in my mind, there's only so much hair care which goes on top of, you know, hair, which is already dead, it's not alive, can do. Unlike with skincare, I mean, skin can really like visually affect and over time really change the appearance of your skin, but, I, I <laughs> am so incredibly impressed. I haven't been using these products for the past couple of weeks because I put them in this pile of my favorites to do in a video. So they haven't been in my shower to use. So um, I probably should have done that before I recorded this video. So this hair is not, um, I haven't been using these products lately, but I could not believe 
how much of a noticeable difference in how smooth my hair looked, just how healthy it looked from using these products. So I'll start with the shampoo and conditioner. They have lots of different types of formulations, but the ones that they sent me to try out was the Wake Up Call Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Big bottles, pump dispenser, very convenient for when you're in the shower. My hair just looks fantastic after my hair dries after using these. A very cool product, which is their new Dawn Activated Charcoal Scalp Cleanser. And it has this like plastic tooth comb at the end. So you physically massage it into the scalp. Um, it does feel a little bit dry afterwards, but this is really like a not only um, very cleansing product, but the massaging also helps, I feel like, with um, helping any sort of moisturizing products you put on top afterwards. It helps if you have any sort of flakies or dryness to remove that and yeah, very cool product. And then the uh, Hair Redemption Restorative Butter Mask. Super thick, um, nourishing, I don't even wanna open it because it's kind of messy, but um, a mask for the hair. So if you want that extra silkiness and smoothness um, from after you do the conditioner or in place of your conditioner, smells fantastic. Um, this, you know, I, I'm just, these products are really a step above any other that I can think of, at least in recent memory, any other hair system that I have used. So absolutely worth it. And if you've never heard of or tried Better Not Younger, I would definitely encourage you to go check them out. I think a couple What's New in Beauty videos ago, I mentioned uh, retinol body cream that I had discovered and how difficult it is to find body creams with retinol in them as opposed to face creams, um, how, how they can be very expensive. And I showed you one, but it had fragrance in it, which I, wasn't ideal. And then lots of people commented and mentioned that this company, Advanced Clinicals, um, you can buy this, I think I bought it through Walmart. Not expensive, huge tub, pump dispenser once again. And this is a retinol body cream. And this is sealed because I literally bought, I think four of them. I have two going right now and then two backups. Fan freaking tastic. I find this actually more moisturizing than the other body retinol product that I showed. So this has taken the not the top the top spot when it comes to more affordable ones. The one from Paul's Choice, that retinol body is, I think in terms of formulation and potency of the retinol is a step above this, but to be more affordable and kind of for more every day, this takes the number one spot. So it's water, mineral oil, the retinol comes in before the halfway point, but it also has Camellia sinensis, leaf extract, aloe, other soothers, sodium hyaluronate. Um, definitely go invest in this if you want a body care product that has retinol in it. You know how in love I am with all of Fresh's hydrating lip balm lines. And I feel like every time I mention them, I'm telling you how much I love the latest flavor that they have, but they've released a mango flavored one and I feel like I might lose my mind. <laughs> Here it is. It is the Sugar Mango Hydrating Lip Balm. I love mango, I love the smell of mango. I love the ma way, ma way, way, <laughs> I can't even speak. I love the way mangoes taste. Here is the packaging for it. That's what it looks like. You guys, it smells like fresh mango. Like you just cut into it and you're, you know, scored it and you flipped it and you're about to eat it. Oh, it smells so good. Maybe a little sweeter, maybe like a sugary kind of mango scent, but I, I, I am always, I never cease to be amazed by how fresh nails the scents. I even have, I'm just sitting right here, the prior ones that I've shown you. This is the passion fruit one, Ugh, the lychee one. And the thing is, is that they last for forever. So even when I use a jar, I have one on board already in a different flavor or scent, even using them nightly on a daily basis, it takes a long time. So I, I, you know, it's gonna be a while before I can even dip into this, but I already am familiar with the formulation. Very nourishing, super good for putting on the lips. Your lips in the morning when you wake up feel nice and smooth and hydrated. So fantastic formulas. They continue to release freaking mind-blowing scents and flavors. So 
can't wait to the next one. You also know that I really love CEO Bigelow Apothecary's body care products. Um, I wanted to show you what this box looks like, looked like, so I literally finagled somehow this bow back on here because I love the packaging. And then your box will come with this wrapping if you purchase from them. I just wanted to show you that. This line is the Rosemary Mint scented line. Whew, so good. Definitely get that punch of both the rosemary and the mint. So just make sure you enjoy that scent. Um, the uh, This is a hand wash, which mm, wonderful, wonderful scented. Love the kind of old school feel and packaging and style that they have to the brand. They also sent along the body lotion. I do not personally use or try to avoid scented body lotions, so I will be giving this away, but I just wanted you to know that if rosemary or mint or both of these are scents that you enjoy, you will love these two products. Okay, last non-makeup favorite I wanted to share with you is something that wasn't on my radar before, but Peak, which is a tea brand, if you're not familiar, they have little satchels or packets that you can just put into hot water and um, make tea really quickly. They sent along this new product. This is the Daily Immune Elderberry Liposomal, Lipos Liposomal. <laughs> C, immune support healthy skin. Um, it's a vitamin C shot, basically. And it's not it's not an actual tea. They are individually packet um, shots, is what I'm gonna call them, of vitamin C. Now, I don't know if I really believe that just consuming a ton of vitamin C is, practically speaking, going to prevent you from getting a cold or flu or whatnot. But vitamin C, of course, has lots of other benefits for the body, especially for the skin when you can ingest it. So these have been really nice to use. They're very convenient. I can take them traveling with me if I want to or just even at home. It's already dosed out for you. It's uh, kind of like um, not jelly consistency. It's not as thick, but it's like thinner than a jelly consistency. It tastes good. Um, so these have been really cool to be using and testing out lately. So if that interests you, go check them out. Or if you also just want to check out teas that you can really conveniently take on the go, they also have a ton of great flavors for teas. All right, real quick, my makeup favorites for the past month. These are not new products. They're just tried and true. I've really been noticing how much I love them. First one, better get your hands on it because Becca's basically not going to exist anymore, but the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, one of their best-selling products. I do have a backup of this, but um, I think a lot of people may not know how to use this. I use a very small amount, dab it to my fingers and do it under the eyes. You can use it underneath concealer, or oftentimes this is just what I use if I want a very natural day look. Um, this is fan-freaking-tastic. The pigment, the salmon pigmentation is sheer enough to not be noticeable, but heavy enough. It's not heavy, but it, it is present enough to combat the um, darkness underneath the eyes. It also has a hydrating quality to it, so it's not going to exacerbate and will actually mitigate any sort of fine lines or dryness that you have in the under eye area. Speaking of concealers, I love these from Kaja, and I do not hear anyone else talking about them. Kaja Beauty is a Korean beauty brand sold through Sephora. Both of these, the regular concealer is fantastic. The Don't Settle Concealer, I use the shade 04. I think it's Waffles. Um, Doe-footed applicator, just really sits beautifully on the skin, especially in the under eye area. Again, hydrating doesn't exacerbate my wrinkles, but covers effectively. And then as a first step, their Catnap, which is the more salmon tinted um, kind of corrector if you really have darkness that you want to correct first. Um, same kind of formulation, fantastic. And I've really been enjoying my eyeshadow, particularly this one shade from the Revlon So Fierce Quads. This is the Slight Flex quad, but this shade here is duochrome, like kind of purplish greenish. Not quite the level of club from a MAC, a more subtle version of that and a little more purple leaning, um, but it's just beautiful. I've really been loving. Just take my finger in there and I smear it over the lids. All right, on to fails. So there are a couple of them. The first one I'm going to mention is from, I think I got it from Yes Style. I was looking for Korean, obviously Korean, they, they sell Korean and Japanese skincare, but I was looking for a sunscreen um, that didn't have any fragrance in it, which is really difficult to find actually with Korean skincare. Um, this one, although it does not have fragrance added to it, has the most inelegant formula. 
um, you look like a ghost. It is that thicker, a little bit greasy textured uh, formulation, comes out super stark and white, will give even the fairest person a white cast, doesn't feel nice on the skin. Look at that. Ugh. So actually this does have a fragrance to it. It smells really strongly of like a citrusy kind of smell to it. Oh, maybe it's the sea buckthorn in there. Anyway, it smells, um, even if there's technically not fragrance added to it, most inelegant texture. Um, I, I, I will use it up on other parts of my body, sometimes my feet, but I really do not look forward to using this. I can't wait till it's gone. Did I tell you what it is? It's the Suni or Sun, Sunki Personal Care. I think it's Sunki 365 Sunscreen Cream. Yeah. And then my other fail is the line of Burt's Bees cream products. I just found them. I, I know a lot of people actually love these. I think if you are more into a natural look and more sheer layers of color, this can actually look really beautiful. Um, but I just have so many other like MAC paint pots, even Elf's cream potted uh, products for eyeshadows and, and, and blushes. I just, I don't know. The, uh, and the other thing is, is that these are fragranced. I, uh, so I don't really get that. I, I don't think that in terms of coloration or formulation, they're anything super unique. And then the addition of irritating fragrance just makes these not impressive to me, unfortunately. I did do a whole dedicated video swatching them. If you are interested and you like Burt's Bees, you can check out what the colors look like. But overall, not a success in my book. All right, those are April's favorites and fails. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of anything in the comments section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you hopefully soon in another video.